What's going on everybody? It's another ride home review with Paul um, and I watched The Lost City of Z. I thought that this was uh, skipped over in the theaters. I had the wrong release date for it. So uh, here we go. <clears throat> Once again, this is The Lost City of Z. Uh, directed by James Gray, starring Charlie Hunnam, Tom Holland, Robert Pattinson, and Sienna Miller. And the story is about, uh, it's based on a true story about Major uh, Percy Fawcett and his uh, obsession of exploring and a potential ancient Amazon civilization in obviously the Amazon area of South America between Bolivia and Peru, uh, excuse me, Brazil. Um, what I liked about this movie uh, the cinematography was absolutely spectacular. Um, it was really, they did a good job. Uh, I mean, uh, framing what was going on in the jungle, uh, you know, just, uh, just some beautiful shots. Also the World War One scene was really gritty. There was a lot of different environments. Um, and so, so there was a lot, a lot to work with and a lot to, you know, to, uh, to show. Uh, the acting was also great. The, the cast was stellar. Um, they casted well. Uh, great chemistry between the characters. Um, you know, just all, you know, uh, I believe they were all British. I'm not sure if anybody is of Australian descent or anything like that, but it was a completely British cast taking place with British people. Um, and yeah, it was just, uh, couldn't fault the cast at all. What I didn't care for in this movie, well, out of the technical aspect, I think they had a little bit of trouble with the, the aging aspects of it. Uh, it the film took place over a course of uh, about 20 years and uh, some parts just felt like the characters didn't age a bit or there was some uh, discrepancies in, in, in some of that, some little plot holes here or there. And speaking of plot holes, um, I think the movie really had a, had a lot of trouble with... Uh, Ad adapting the book to the film and there's there just felt like there was some gaps and it was noticeable um, I think there were some opportunities that were not there I you felt like there should have been more with the jungle um, but it, and I felt the direction in that particular sense um, I, I don't know, it just went, it just didn't go. I, I felt that the, the troubles spent too much internally on the, on the main character of uh, Percy Fawcett and not, not as much with this struggle with the environment um, in which he is a foreigner going into and several times, but uh, I really felt that there was some uh, lack of character development in that end and then um, I just felt that, that the direction should have been more about his experiences within the jungle um, and, and, and there. It seemed like he, the more of the conflicts were outside of the jungle and more of himself internally. Um, uh, things to watch for, uh, you know, the cast was just great. So watch for these folks. Robert Pattinson really impressed me with his role. Um, and so that was... That was something to really look for. So, I don't know. If you've seen this movie, or if you plan on seeing this movie, tell me what your thoughts are. If you've read the book, tell me what your thoughts are on the book and and what what's going on there. As for uh, what's going on with the Ride Home Review, just stay tuned. There's more happening with it. Um, let me know your thoughts with that. And uh, next week, um, we're going to be watching... Uh, the Circle with Tom Hanks and Emma Watson. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.